this is Pine Prepper Bill, and today I want to talk about is the grass always green? I've moved a lot of different times. I've had different jobs. It was always uh, the better move to make, and it, it didn't always work out. Same thing with bands. I was working with good bands, and the band was falling apart, and another band was making it, going to make more money or whatever, and always made that move. And same thing with uh, moving with houses and moving out of state. I've moved out of state a couple times, and I've lived in a couple different states, not for long, but it was never what I expected. Or things didn't work out. Now, I'm older, we're kind of retired, and being in the city and even in the suburbs, it was just too much hectic, too much, too many crowds, too many people, laws, rules, regulations, like I talk about all the time. And this was supposed to be our final move. Growing up in New Jersey, you know, I moved out, moved back, but I, was old, I spent most of my childhood out here in the Pine Barrens four-wheeling, trail riding, dirt bikes, canoeing, kayaking, hunting, camping. I've camped out here almost my whole life. Spent most of the time out here with my uncle doing stuff. And I always wanted to live out here. And, you know, my wife and I, we were looking for a place to move with her daughter and her husband. And we had, you know, the one pig. We wanted to move, maybe have chickens and have like a little homestead and we wanted property. And we looked around and we found different places and we found one in Chatsworth where I always wanted to move. We all liked it. There was a big garage, which was a plus. At the time I had the army truck, the deuce and a half, and I wanted to keep that inside. I don't have that anymore, but you know, that was staying inside and it was the perfect place. It's like two or three acres. We're in the middle of nowhere. There's only a couple, it's a dead end road. It's like a mile and a half off the main road and then like a mile and a half off of that. We're like kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we thought. And out here, there's really no laws, regulations. Everybody, the neighbors shoot guns. You can, you, you walk outside, you can hear them shooting guns out on their deck and target practicing and hunting and quads every now and then up and down the road. But there's only like five houses on our road. And an abandoned gun club, it's, there's nobody there. Behind our house is like three or 500 acres of woods behind us. A couple farm fields back there that are abandoned that we were thinking about using or something. But now, we've moved out here. Different people have moved in down the street. And the cops have been there. We've had state police flying over our house looking for people. <sighs> I never thought moving out in the middle of nowhere would be like a problem. Uh, like the town meetings, they're talking about putting a senior center in just a couple miles behind us and what that's going to do to taxes and putting more stores closer to the senior center and it's just chaos and people were out here in the middle of nowhere and people are bickering at the town meeting over people riding quads up and down the road and why don't they do something. It's really not that a problem. When I lived more into the city, we had problems with quads. And the woods weren't that far. Now we're in the woods. They, they ride in there, but now it's illegal to ride in half the places. But we moved out there and then we, we were fighting, fighting the farm field across from us. When you move out in the middle of nowhere, there's a farm field, there's this, there's that you like, well, they're not going to build here. I don't have to worry about one day waking up and there's going to be a condominium across the street from my house. Well, now we're up for that, that problem. You know, the senior center, center is going to be like five miles down the road. And right across the street from my driveway, that farm field, they sold part of the, the farm, like six or eight acres, and they wanted to put a solar field in there, right at the end of my driveway, facing my direction so the sun would hit it put a hold on that. And then they were talking about right in the middle of town putting a, a, a tower for the fire and EMS and now they're talking about putting like a giant 5G tower up there and 
people are, are trying to fight that. People are like, well, you got to go with the times and the town needs the money. But through the paperwork on the tower, there was nothing specifying that it was going to help the EMS or the fire department. There was nothing on there for any tower or any antenna for them. It was for Verizon, Sprint, Metro, whatever it is, for all the cell phone stuff. Had enough, it wasn't going to help the fire the EMS. So they're still fighting that. And uh, somebody told me that uh, somebody's been cl complaining about gunfire. People have been shooting guns on their back porch. What you're allowed to do here, you have to have so many feet behind your house and woods, and all you got to do is call the state police, say tomorrow we're going to shoot for a couple hours. They don't care. This way, if they get phone calls saying, that I hear gunshots on this such and such road, they know that somebody's just practicing. We don't have a problem with it. We moved out here knowing that. And now people that have lived out here, they're like, well, we don't want to hear quads. We don't want this. We don't want that. We want it quiet. We don't want to hear gunshots. So now it's like we're living in a city again. You have rules and regulations, people trying to stop every little thing that people are doing. So moving out here was supposed to be our last move. This is what we wanted. And people in town, people have chickens and they got uh, turkeys and goats and well, now somebody's complaining that uh, the, the goats are making too much noise and their turkey gobbles too much at night or in the afternoon. And it's, where does all this shit end? So we're looking at moving, you know, we've been looking at a couple of different states. And right now, Missouri is looking like the best. I mean, it's not going to happen overnight, but this is our intention is to move to Missouri. But this was supposed to be our last move. And all this happening and, you know, of course, the taxes here are ridiculous. And, you know, they went up like $2,000 since we've been here. So if, if we move to Missouri in the middle of nowhere, I mean, right now it's 15, 20 minutes to a Wawa convenience store. All the little general stores that used to be in the area that were historic sites, they're pretty much closed because nobody goes to them because Wawa and all these places put them out of business. So just to get milk, cigarettes, cup of coffee, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes back. Evidently, it's too close. Uh, we're looking for, you know, hour, hour and a half. We don't want a neighbor. We don't want to buy like five acres in the middle of nowhere and then be there two or three years and just find out that the people that own the 500 acres behind us sold it to a Walmart or an Amazon in the middle of nowhere and now we wake up and you got this shopping center or something. We don't want that. We moved out here thinking that we, we're in the middle of nowhere. Now well let's put a senior center in and it's going to double traffic and we're going to put intersections in and a light here and a light there and it's getting bad. Out here in the middle of nowhere it's getting bad. So have you had the same experience? Have you moved and was this your prime location? And now, like I watched uh, another prepper and he, he built an off-grid cabin and he's got all this stuff or, you know, homestead, he's got chickens and now he's thinking about selling it and he wants to get out of the state. Have you had the same problem? I've talked to a couple people that, you know, they love it, that they've been born and raised in that state or that city, that town, they've lived there their whole life and they love it. You know, I know people that have moved up 50 times and they're still not happy where they are. And uh, so if we make this move, we want this to be our final move. I mean, I've got so much shit. You know, I know I'm not going to take it with us. It's going to be like a new living experience. But we're older, we're retired. We really don't want to, I mean, we're not capable of building an off-grid cabin and having chickens and cattle and all this stuff. We can't do it. We know that. So we're not going to jump into that figuring, well, we're just going to be completely off the grid. We're not going to have power. We're going to have solar. We're going to hand pump. We're going to carry stuff and plow by hand. We're not Amish. And another thing with the Amish, now they're talking in certain areas or certain states, the Amish have been off grid forever. 
Well, now they're trying to make it mandatory where they have to be hooked to the electric grid. Whether they're, they're using it or not, they want them to be hooked to the grid. Why? I don't. Well, we're at the cell phone reception. There is none. You got to have... If I walk out my, my back porch, if I go on my garage or in my driveway, I have no reception whatsoever on my phone. And I'm okay with that. You know, I didn't have a cell phone growing up. We didn't have them. You went out here in the middle of nowhere, you didn't have a phone. And now everybody's like, oh, we need a 5G tower. We need better service. I'm like, why? Don't take your phone with you. Leave your phone at home. You know, unless you break down, my phone is in, in my glove compartment or in the back of a truck. I, I'm not on my phone when I'm driving. I don't need it. Um, everywhere, everything's got to get faster, quicker. We want more slower. We don't care if we have a compost toilet. We don't care if we have the internet. You know, electric would be a plus. Running water would be nice. I mean, we can't ex spend $20,000 to build a well. We're not going to cart, you know, with a mule and buckets of water. But we're going to find something in the middle of nowhere, hour and a half, two, I don't care if it's three hours away to a store. We're okay with that. Uh, go shopping once a month. If you forget something, well, you're going to have to do it next month. Uh, everybody's bitching like, oh, you know, I got Amazon Prime and I ordered it at 5 o'clock. It should be here at, you know, five hours. Oh, I'm waiting for it. It's not here. It's like Domino's Pizza years ago. We're at 30-minute delivery. How much more do people need? How much more quicker do you need stuff? You know, do you really need to download a movie in 5.3 seconds? Um, if we don't have the Internet, if, you know... If, if we can watch TV, if you get some kind of satellite, that's fine. If not, it is what it is. If I can make a YouTube video and I have to go to a, you know, a, a store an hour away in town, like a coffee shop, and use the internet to download or upload my video, that's fine. But how many people have, like, are you happy where you're at? Uh, is there anything you would change about where you're at? And how... How much has it changed since you've lived there? The pros and cons. Uh, this is Pony Prepper Bill. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll bring another video soon. Bye-bye.